What is up, boys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are playing some more EA Sports UFC 4 Universe Mode. We're diving in today. This is episode number 150. Absolutely insane. Caden Botnick is taking on Mark Davis for the opening of today's card. Caden Botnick, 12 and 7. Mark Davis, 33 and 29. Let's see. Well, Mark Davis, this is his final fight. Win or lose, he is cut from this organization after tonight. Let's see what happens. Left hook there. Nice movement from Botnik. He moves his head very well. Couple shots there. Spinning shot to the body. I don't know if that hurt Davis. It did. It did hurt him. Wow. He's hurt him to the body. Caden Botnik capitalizing early. Let's see what happens. Weird combination from Botnik, but it lands. Superman punch dropped him. Davis in big trouble. Leg kick rocks him. Botnik attacking all areas early. Effectively. This could be all over. Duck him round now. Sends Davis back in. And what a knockout that was to end Davis's career. Davis will be removed from the UFC Universe. Finally, 33 and 30. The most losses ever in the UFC Universe. Caden Botnik with a very, very spectacular finish tonight. Sensational from him. Can't wait to see more of him in the future. Up next, we have Joey Smith, the Yan. Let's get it. Up next, we've got Joey Smith v. Yan. Joey is 11-0. Yan is 11-4-1. Let's see what happens, boys. Very excited for this fight. Smith looks sensational in his first fight. We're going to see how he fares against Yan. I wouldn't mind seeing the winner fight Botnik. I think that could be interesting. Well, I think Yan has already fought him. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Joey Smith in the red corner on the left side. Yan on the right corner. Blue corner, sorry. Um, in the right side. Let's see what happens. I do feel like Smith is the better striker. And if, if Yan stays standing, this could be a bad night for him. But we'll see. Smith took there. Superman punch there. Lands clean. Smith now teeing off. Couple body shots from both men. Weird styles. I thought we had just seen Yan shoot from now. Like, he, I've, he's usually got him to the ground. Or attempted to. Nice high kick there from Yan. Smith now in trouble. He'd usually have attempted to by now, but it's not. That's it from Yan. Nice distance control there as well. Yan's not looking too shabby, you know. Good leg kick though, and that's hurt Yan. These fights have been weird today. Let's see what happens. Shots land. A few miss. Spin in elbow there from Joey Smith. Yan is in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's dropped. Smith looking for a finish. He did not recover at all. Joey Smith makes it 2 0. Damn. Ramirez taking on Vlazov up next. We're going to see how this one goes. Ramirez is 14 and floor. Uh, 14 and floor. <laughs> 14 and 4. Mishin is 12 and 2. Let's see what happens. Mishin there in the blue corner. Ramirez in the red. Here we go. Round one. Off the bat, Ramirez had a few shaky fights. Can he get back in that win column tonight against a tough opponent in Vlazov? Give me... Oh, clean uppercut. And he's done... Oh, my God. Bro, this card. This card. Ramirez back in the win column after steamrolling through Mishin. He has fought nothing but killers. But tonight, he comes out victorious. Massive win for him. Insane. It is a damn good day when you see Marcus Dixon return to UFC Universe. Marcus Dixon v. Porus Dekal is about to go down. Dixon 38 and 16. Dekal 6 and 1. Let's see what happens, man. Dekal is underrated, I will say that. If it stays standing, I would pick Porus. But I feel like the organ grinder, you know, back in the UFC, he's looking for redemption after that last one against Stevenson. Let's see if he can get it. Back on the big stage. The man himself, the organ grinder, the killer. At 170. This man needs no introduction the world over. He is an absolute phenomenon in UFC Universe. The Hall of Famer. And we're going to see if he can still do it. 
on the big stages. I don't know. The Cole is one of these guys that loves to scrap. Dixon can fall onto something like that. But he's made a mistake here, the car, and this could cost him big time. Let's see what happens. The car is a very, very underrated fighter on this roster. But Dixon is one of the best grapplers on the planet. So far, a bit of a stalemate. The car kind of holding his own here. Denying Dixon's transitions. Interesting. Dixon got shinned bad there. TB does turn it over there. The grappling IQ of the organ grinder. Takes the back. Rolls. Nice roll there. From Dixon still in a dominant position. And he's going to flatten the Carl out. The Carl had a very good start to this fight. It looks like that could shortly be reversed. Dixon with some ground and pound. Bad ground and pound too there. I forgot to mention, Dakar is the guy in the black shorts. Dixon's got the black and gold icon shorts. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Dixon so far seems to be taking it over a little bit. I'd like to see him keep the ground and pound up, though. Don't just slap him here. He's going for a submission. Arm bar for the organ grinder. Dakar is very tricky on the ground. He's tough. He doesn't go away quietly. I think he's only been submitted once by Colin Ashley. I believe that is his only loss. So never knocked out. It looks like Dakar's going to get out of this, man. It's close. Dakar is going to get out. Good submission defense there from Horace Dakar. You love to see it. When they get on the bottom, it looks like Dakar is not too bad there either. He ain't too shabby. Dixon with some ground and pound though, and Dakar. I don't know if he's hurt. I don't think so. Dixon's just ripping shots. And he's finished him. Marcus Dixon. The organ grinder. Sensational finish. Unbelievable. Wow. The debut of the former CFA lightweight and welterweight champion Samuel Stevenson, 10-0, is taking on Grigory Chernov, who is a massive test. I would not count out Grigory for this fight. We have Stevenson in the red corner, 10-0. Taking on Grigory Chernov, 21-4. Here we go. Chernov only lost to the best. We're going to see tonight how Stevenson fares against a very, very good opponent in Grigory Chernov. In his prime as well. Boxing already. And Chernov. Chernov, very, very versatile. Can grapple you, can submit you, can outbox you, and can beat you up on the ground as well with ground and pound shots. Very, very versatile. And the most well rounded guys in the roster. We're going to see how Stevenson fares here. Stevenson's got a big ass nose, bro. Jesus Christ. That thing's like a beak. Hip toss from Stevenson. Beautiful takedown. We're going to see what he can do. First fight in the UFC's UFC debut, of course, being a former two-weight world champion. Chernov covering up very, very, like a veteran, you know. He's just very good there. Stevenson with some ground and pound. Not really doing too much with it. Chernov trying to transition. Steven denies. Not much really happening. They're both just hitting each other in this position. Not a dominant one. Good control there from Stevenson. Chernoff was trying to transition. Let's see. Good shots here again from Stevenson. Start to rip shots. Chernoff in trouble, but does seem again to survive. Very, very durable. Gregory Chernoff. He's been in this position before. He's beat some of the greatest in this division and the roster. He knows what he needs to do. Stevenson at his smothering best though. Holding down Chernov. And ripping him. Good work here from Samuel Stevenson. Chernov not really having too much of an answer. All that ground and pound. Smothers him. Chernov in trouble here. 
is getting bad. Stevenson could be looking at a finish here. He's hitting him a lot, but Chernov just doing enough to kind of stop the combinations on the ground, you know? He's moving enough. So Stevenson has to regain control. He's surviving here. But he can't take too many more of these. They're starting to add up. Stevenson is smashing Chernov at the minute. Doesn't mean he's going to stay that way. No, he's hurt. It's over. Samuel Stevenson absolutely flawless in his UFC debut. Wow. Huge win for him. Unbelievable. Again, when you think about two fighters who don't need no introduction the world over, you think of these two. Shafiq and Colin. Last time they thought it was a razor-thin decision. That was a three-round fight. We've upped this one to a five-round fight. Shafiq's there in the red icon trunks. Colin in the black icon trunks. We're going to see what happens. Rafi Shafiq is 46 and 17. Colin Ashley is 46 and 24. They are both tied for the most wins ever in UFC Universe. Let's see what happens. Someone is taking it tonight. I don't know who that's going to be. We will see. Shafiq, they have a nice leg kick. Or head kick, sorry. Colin with a really good leg kick a minute ago. And there's another. Shafiq's got to be careful because Colin will rip that all day. Shafiq's throwing shots. Not a lot of them landing. Switch kick there for Shafiq. That was nice. Colin getting a hold of him though. I do feel like if this goes to the ground, Shafiq could be in trouble. Colin ripping that leg early. Shafiq though, waiting for him to come in and firing off shots. Double jab. Time in there for Colin. I'd pick Colin to win this one. I feel like he's going to get this back. Ooh, nice movement there. Just got a weird feeling, you know. Shafiq had that last one. I think Colin's going to come correct. Try and get it back. We'll see. Still two fights left on the card. We have the number one contender fight for the next title fight for Jordan Holmes out of Ivan, which would be another rematch. And uh, Bronson Knight, who is on a, I believe, a seven fight win streak. Oh, shut him down. Put straight there for Colin. Jumping round out from Mr. Ashley. 302 stand up. Your boy's a ninja. He's got him in the clinch here. This is what I mean. I feel like Colin's just a bit more well rounded as he attacks the base once more. Colin, if it had landed, it would have been nasty. Shafiq tries one. Colin's got a hold of him. Wear him down. Good grappling there from Colin. Kind of fists him. See, I think Colin's got better grappling, but I don't know. Let's see. The ground and pound here from Colin. And then, of course, we have the lightweight title on the line. The vacant lightweight title. Rocky Johnson v. Chung Lee. Who is going to take it? I have no actual idea. So these guys both lost to Rocky and Chung in their last fight. That is why they're here now. Matching it up. Colin sneaking in with his submission. Colin Ashley. He's got that. 50, 50 something seconds. And he is running away. Colin Ashley with the leg over the head. Rips the arm. I had it right. I called it correct. Colin Ashley submits Rafi Shafiq. Damn. 302 stand up. He has done it again. And he is now the leader in wins in UFC Universe. Absolutely insane. Colin Ashley does it once more. Unreal. I have no words, man. Insane finish. Wore him down. And that was the beginning of the end. Up next, we have Ivan v. Bronson Knight, the number one contender. Let's see what happens there, man. Very, very excited. The winner will face Jordan Holmes, the current welterweight champion, Ivan. 36 and... Uh, wait, no. Wrong, wrong person. I'm reading Eli Harris's, bro. They're going to fire me after this. <laughs> Ivan, 32 and 16. The Bronson Knight, 17 and 3. Seven fight win streak for Bronson Knight. Ivan, I believe he's on a one fight win streak, but there is a argument for, you know... A fight there just because Ivan beat Holmes in the last one. We'll see what happens here. Very, very excited. Here we go. And some night, very unorthodox, very awkward style. Is he the future at 170? Very, very awkward style. No one really knows what he's going to throw when. That's what makes him so exciting though. But he does get hit. We see it there. And Ivan is a marksman. 
can land shots like this all day, but Bronson clips him with something. He just finds a way. He didn't early in his career, but he's like a late bloomer, bro. He's just coming in and, you know, he's a, no one can discredit a seven-fight win streak. This man, let's see what happens. Couple shots there. Ooh. Oh, buddy, nice uppercut there for Ivan. Movement, so unorthodox, so awkward. Ivan is landing a lot to that chin, though. Double jab, rocks in midair. Only merit, uh, momentarily, though. Ivan seems to have recovered. Overhand sends him down again, though. Bronson Knight, very accurate with that overhand. And Ivan now, up against the fence. Oh, that's what I mean, man. He's so awkward. No one really knows what he's going to throw and when. Oh, shut him down. Ivan has recovered. Back up again. Ivan needs to use them kicks, man. He needs to keep his distance and bang that high kick. The only high kick being landed there, though, was Bronson Knight. He's going to get flattened out. Is it going to be all over? Nice denial there from Ivan to kind of calm down that ground and pound. But he has gave up his back here. That's not good. Not good. Shots here from Bronson. As his man very hurt. Can Ivan survive? Bronson going for a submission here. Rear naked choke. I would never have thought we'd have seen that. Bronson Knight. No submissions for Bronson. All knockouts. He's got the neck. He's got that. That's over. Bronson Knight. Just when you think you've seen it all. Earns himself a title shot. Sensational finish. Unreal. I would never have thought that. Wow. Two legends, man. I'm excited for this. We've got Chung Lee taking on Rocky for the lightweight title. Very, very excited. I don't know who's going to get this done. Oh, I'm super excited. Let's uh, let's rock and roll. Let's see what happens. Very, very excited. We've got Rocky 24 and 11. Chung Lee 20 and 5. Lightweight title on the line. Who is going to bring it home? I can't see this one lasting very long, to be honest. A lot of people think Rocky's going to get it. A lot of people think Chung Lee. No one really knows. Let's find out. Boxing from Rocky is always nice, man. Let's see what happens. A couple of slips. Nice movement. Ooh. Interesting fight, man. Bit of a chess match already. I thought that was going to go to war. Big kick there for Rock. Both guys have had a really, really interesting career and road to the title. One guy knocking out Shafiq in his last fight. One guy beating Colin. Insane. Two legends falling to both of these men. Look at that from Chung Lee. Violence. Front kick from Chung. Rocky got that Yan style, man. A bit of a slow starter. Ooh. Body shot there from Rock. Chin on both of these boys, man. No one's been rocked yet. Exciting. Good movement from Rocky. Full counter there. Big body shot for Chung. Rocky eats it. Okay. Leg kick there. One, two from Chung. Rocky ripping the body. I believe both of these guys deserve a spot in the Hall of Fame. I can't even lie. Good uppercut from Rocky. Drops Chung Lee. Chung Lee replies as he comes in. Rocky really doing a good job ripping that body. Interesting fight, man. Front kick there. He's slipped by Chung. Left hook there. Catches Chung Lee clean and Rocky looking for the kill. Chung Lee not in a good position here. Couple shots. Big knee there. Chung Lee's trying to throw and land something. 
Rocky, it's in Cleveland, and up a cut. That could be all over. Rocky Johnson is the new champion at 155. The uppercut was the beginning of the end. What a comeback story from Rocky. From being cut to being brought back to now the champion. Ain't no one do it better than Rocky. He is now the champion. Chung Lee slipped, fell straight into a rear uppercut after trying to throw a body shot. And a beautiful finish from the new champ. Insane accuracy, insane power and precision. Rocky Johnson has done it again. Lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Magliotta's called to stop. Both of these guys deserve a spot in the Hall of Fame. Rocky has just solidified it. Big win. See him with a belt. Well, try to, but then this fucking thing got in the way. Johnson now the champion. What is next for him? Collins waiting in the wings after a big win tonight against Shafiq. We've got Stevenson on the horizon. A lot of fights to be made at 155. For today's video, though, boys, I am going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you for more UFC Universe next time. So, awesome, guys. Have a great day. See you again in the next one.